away we go. So welcome to today's training. Uh, it's titled How to Create a Seven-Figure Business in Less Than 90 Days Without Losing Money on Bad Hires or Training Your Competition. And I'm going to show you how to do this uh, by uh, walking you through the steps for setting up a predictable listing machine with virtual assistance so that you can grow your revenue fast uh, without having to constantly stress about lead generation battle uncertainty and guesswork or work your life away. And my goal for you guys here today on this webinar is for you to be able to walk away uh, with uh, actionable insights that you can deploy into your business immediately, okay? And this webinar is gonna be of great value to specific to, to all agents, but specifically two kinds of agents. Uh, the first kind of agent that this is gonna be really valuable for is a real estate agent who is newer to the business and is getting exposed to a lot of different kinds of information, right, and advice, and just isn't quite 100% sure or clear on what the next best steps are uh, for going out and building a business, for growing their business, for growing your client list, uh, for just generating more commissions, right? And the second kind of agent that this is gonna be especially good for is the experienced agent who has a reg who has a business has a regular flow of new clients new listings uh, but is really looking to scale and to grow their business uh, faster really wants to take it to the next level really wants to get significant growth into your business so if that's you if you're either one of those then you're definitely in the right place and my goal for you today is able to walk away with either understanding what the next best steps would be for your business or for seeing exactly how it is that you can take your business from wherever it's at and quickly and trigger quick growth, fast growth that's sustainable and predictable, okay? And you guys have all heard the parable before that if you chase two rabbits, you won't catch either one. And what I mean by that is if you're here on the webinar, then please be here on the webinar. Uh, don't be distracted. Don't do a bunch of different things because if you do that, you're not going to get the value out of the webinar that you can. You're choosing to invest uh, an hour of your time with me, and I take that seriously. And I'd like to be able to give you a return on your investment of time. But I can only do that if you play your part. And your part is to be here and to be present. Okay? And I promise you that if you do that, then I'll do my part and deliver a lot of value for you. And if you stay until the end, I've got a free gift for you. I'm going to give you guys a secret URL that you can go to and download a free gift from. And what the free gift is, is it's the Mod Launch uh, Program. And what the Mod Launch Program is, is it is, it is our best templates uh, checklists uh, and resources for hiring, uh, for attracting talent, for finding talent, for hiring talent, and then for onboarding it, okay? It's called the Mod Launch Program, and we're going to give that to you for free today if you stay until the end and you're here on the webinar with us. Now, you might be asking yourself, because I do the same thing when I'm on webinars, is, you know, this isn't your first webinar, right? You've probably been on many webinars before, as uh, I imagine. And uh, you're probably asking yourself, you know, hey, what makes this webinar different? Why should I stay for the whole thing, right? And I understand that question. I ask the same thing myself when I get on webinars. And I'd like to answer that for you here really quickly right before we dive in. And there's really two reasons what makes this webinar significantly different from any other training that you may have been on in the last few months or even in the last year. And the first, the first thing that makes this different is the big, is the, what I call the My Out Desk big picture perspective or advantage. What do I mean by that? Well, what I mean by that is this. You know, we as real estate agents, when you're working on your business, right, and in your business, um, by definition, you're busy working on your business, right? In your business, you're handling your clients, you're taking care of clients, you're serving them, you're handling you know, your team, paperwork, and all the different things that come with being a real estate agent. And when you're busy doing that, you are just focused on what's happening in your business, but you don't necessarily see what's happening across the nation. You don't necessarily see the back end of a lot of different agents' businesses. Well, we, on the other hand, do. We actually are serve right now over 1,200 real estate agents and teams who are actively our clients. And so what we have here is the ability to see the big picture and connect dots between, connect the dots between what's really working and what's not working. And then we're able to turn that into an advantage for our clients. You today get in, you get to turn that, in, that, that's going to be an advantage for you today because you're going to get access to some of that perspective and that advantage today because a lot of the training that I'm going to share with you today uh, comes from that big picture perspective and that big picture advantage, okay? 
So a lot of the training that you're going to get exposed today, the information, the insights that you're going to get exposed to today uh, come from a place of us being able to see the back end, the behind the scenes of over 1,200 real estate businesses that are currently active and growing right now. Uh, and as you can imagine, if you had access to that kind of data, you'd probably be able to see some patterns that connect some dots yourself as well, right? Well, we're doing that here, and that's where this training is coming from. Uh, as a matter of fact, here's some success, highly successful agents to you, whose names you may recognize uh, who choose us and work with us as lawyer clients. Tristan Ahumada, the founder of Lab Code Agents as well. Uh, Nolly Williams, an industry favorite. Uh, ben Kinney, uh, Ken Wimberly, Tim and Julie Harris, Lisa Archer, Andrew and Angela Duncan. These are all clients of ours who are ongoing, loyal, happy clients. And I don't, as, as the cliche goes, I don't say that to impress you, but to impress upon you that some of the most high performance and highly successful agents in the industry today uh, choose to work with us. And as you can imagine, when you achieve the level of success that those names have achieved, uh, you're discerning in who you work with and you look for specific results. And so they wouldn't be working with us if we weren't delivering uh, uh, the result of the outcome that we promise and they need, right? As you can imagine. So uh, for, to that end, those are just some of the clients that choose to work with us. Um, the other thing that makes this webinar a little bit different is me. Uh, my name is Andre Polson. I'm the VP of Marketing here at my Outdesk. But more importantly, what I want to share with you really quickly is as a kid, uh, I was obsessed with puzzles, you know, riddles, clue games, and all that stuff. I love reading mystery novels. Uh, and as an adult, that kind of obsession has continued now. Uh, and what I'm now obsessed with is cracking the code of what works really well. Uh, I don't care if it's in my personal life or if it's in business or what it may be with. As an adult, I'm just simply obsessed with cracking the code of what works really well. And I also have this underlying belief. Uh, that learners are earners. And, and you might actually agree with that on some level because it, obviously you're here on a webinar investing your time today to learn, right? But I believe that learners are earners. And, to the, and, and because of that, earlier this year, I hosted uh, an online conference called the Get Listing Summit, okay? And what I did there is I got access to and learned from over 35 of the most successful agents, coaches, and leaders in the game today, winning at the game of real estate today, winning at the game of getting listings today. And since then, I've worked with my team on boiling it down to the essentials, taking everything that was learned on the Get Listing Summit and boiling it down to the essentials. And what I mean by that is kind of what are the things that any, what are the key insights or information that we learned uh, that any agent could take and apply in any market, regardless of conditions or market, you know, market conditions or experience or background, what would work universally? And that's what we did. We boiled it down to the essentials. And so what you're going to get access to today, what you're going to learn from today is that combination of my journey of obsession and my outdesk's big picture advantage, as I call it. Okay. Now, as you can imagine, we're doing a lot of things right now. And of course, our clients are doing a lot of things right when they work with us. But prior to us doing, you know, getting to where we're at today and helping our clients get to where they're at today, you know, they and we did some things wrong. And that's just kind of how all things go in life, right? When you start something new, you're not going to be perfect at it. Well, after doing this for over 10 years, here's a few insights that we've learned in my out desk. And I want you to pay attention to these because I'm going to, because what I'm going to do is I'm going to share these with you right now. And then by the end of this webinar, you're going to be able to have an action plan for how to go and actually get this for your business. One is that we've learned that you can build a business from just one to two lead sources because all leads can be traced upstream to a handful of predictable sources. You can generate good listing leads and clients consistently with just two to three processes and one good virtual assistant. They, we found that there are three patterns agents who achieve their dream lifestyle have in common that you can model to get rid of a lot of headaches, uncertainty, and guesswork. And the best part is, and you're going to see how this is possible by the end of today's training, is how any agent can do this, okay? So everything that I just shared with you that we've discovered as a few key principles over the last 10 years, any agent can do, and I'm going to show you how exactly in the next 30 to 45 minutes. Now, we discovered these things the hard way, and I like to joke that you get to ethically cheat today and get the easy way. By the way, just so that you know that you're really in the right place, I want to share with you here real quickly what the hard way looked like for a lot of our clients before they started working with us. Uh, that way you can get an appreciation for and an understanding for um, the kind of problems that we solve so that you can better understand, you know, better understand and appreciate the source that all this information is coming from and so that you know 
that uh, what I'm going to be sharing with you today solves real world problems for real agents. Okay, some of the problems that our agents, that our clients have been going through when they enter, when they when they come to our community, is riding the roller coaster of the real estate business. Right, going through that endless feast and famine cycle. And if you can relate to this at all, um, then you're definitely in the right place because I've got answers for you today. Um, if you've ever gone through losing thousands of dollars or hundred and or hundreds of hours on the real estate hire and fire cycle trying to build a team, then you're in the right place because I've got some insights for you today to use. Uh, if you've been investing lots of money into technology, leads, people, and marketing only to see marginal results at best, then you as well are, are in for a treat today, and you're going to be and you're going to be really happy that you came to this webinar. And finally, if you feel like your work owns your life, and you're losing out on time with your family, your friends, loved ones, making memories, just or just having regular fun in general, the idea of balance sounds like a sci-fi fantasy to you. If the idea of balance sounds like a sci-fi fantasy to you, then you also are in the right place. Okay, so. With that, right before we jump in, I want to introduce you and tell you a quick story about one of our clients. Her name is Toral. She's in Sumner, Washington. And I just want to kind of give you a little bit of a story about, you know, not only has this worked for some of the more recognizable names that I've introduced, but I want to show you how this works for agents from all walks of life, what I'm going to share with you today, okay? And be, what be, before Toral worked with us, when she came to, when she first got introduced to us, she was struggling to find consistency in her business. She was riding that real estate roller coaster, that financial real estate roller coaster that so many agents so often find themselves on. And eventually what she realized through coaches and through mentoring is that this little phrase that she says often is, if you don't have an assistant, then you are one. And so what she started doing after this realization is she started building a team that included virtual assistants because she learned kind of about how to do it. And of course, we helped her with the process. Last year, she did 170 transactions for a total volume of around $60 million. Okay. Uh, and this, and she got in the industry when she was 19 years old, right? Green, uh, didn't know anything about the industry, took her lumps, took her bruises like we all have, like we all do, uh, and went through, went through the real estate roller coaster. Realized that if she didn't get an assistant, she would be one all the time. Started building a team following some of the principles that we, a lot of the principles that we share and some of the things that you're going to learn today. And she, as of last year, did 170 transactions for $60 million in volume. And I bet you would agree with me probably that that is, this is, this, this is a respectable size uh, accomplishment and a respectable business by anybody's standards in the industry, right? So, uh, and you're gonna see in a little bit why she now says that anything that can be done virtually should be done virtually. I actually had a chance to interview her about a month back and she, re she repeated this phrase multiple times. Anything that can be done virtually should be done virtually. And I'm gonna, and by the end of this training, you're gonna understand and see why uh, Toral would be saying that. So with that said, uh, let me ask you a rhetorical question, but I want to check in to see if you're engaging and if you're listening. So please type in the chat box and let me know if you would like for me to show you the easy way to set up predictable streams of new listings without all the headaches. Now I got to swipe off screen here for a second to check the chat box, but go ahead and type into the chat box right now and let me know if you're listening and if you're ready for me to rock and roll and get going. Uh, Sandra says yes. Tammy says yes, please. Rachel says yes. Danielle says sure. Manoj, Manoj says, yes, please, show the easy way. Uh, ZJ says, yes, Stacy says, duh, with a smiley face. Jody says, let's do it. All right, I'm gonna rock and roll and keep going. You know how it is, you don't wanna feel like you're on stage all by yourself and talking and you know, you're not sure people are listening. So I gotta check in a little bit now and then and make sure you guys are paying attention, not falling asleep. Uh, all right, so with that, let's move forward. Here's the three key insights that I'm gonna share with you today that you're gonna walk away with uh, knowing how to implement uh, into your business or to at least be aware of uh, so that you can kind of be wise to it in taking the next steps of building out your business. One is I'm going to show you uh, how agents are getting scammed uh, by the real estate lead generation sub industry. And I know scammed is a bit of a harsh word and I'm not saying that, you know, every lead generation portal is bad. I'm certainly not saying that. Please hear me clearly. But by and large, there's some things that are happening in the lead generation in sub industry right now that whether it's intentional or unwitting by the vendors, uh, agents are unfortunately just getting taken advantage of. And I hate seeing that, 
And uh, I'm sure you can agree with me that if something like this is going on, you'd want to know about it, right? So uh, to set the frame today and to really kind of give a new perspective and kind of give you an aha moment, I'm going to share that. Uh, then also next, I'm going to show you how you can get good listing leads for less than $2,000 a month, even really less than $1,000 a month if you absolutely had to. And in this section, you're going to actually need a couple agents. You're going to get a couple of in-depth case studies. Okay, I don't know if you're like if you're anything like me, but I love case studies. I like seeing proof. I'm the kind of guy that's just like you know, show me the proof, show me the results, show me the case studies, right? Show me how this, you know, don't just give me the theory. Show me that it's really working. And if you're anything like me, then you're gonna absolutely love that that this bit of the training. Uh, and then secret number three is I'm gonna show you how you can build a predictable business without it hijacking your entire life. I'm gonna show you how you can apply everything else that you're gonna learn into a way that doesn't take over your entire life. And if you've been in real estate for any length of time, you probably already know how real estate can just absolutely take over your entire life if you're not careful, right? Um, you've got the weekends that it can take over, your evenings that it can take over, you're constantly stressing about the business, thinking about the business, even when you're playing you're thinking about the business, I imagine, right? So if you're dealing with any of that, I'm gonna show you a pathway that can actually nip a lot of that in the bud uh, and help you grow your business. So with that, let's dive right in. Secret number one, and I hope you have your notepad and pen handy and you're taking notes. Uh, that way, not only do you retain more of what I'm sharing with you here today, but also just as importantly, I want you to be able to capture any thoughts you get uh, that are unique to you and your circumstances in your market and your goals and your vision for your business um, And I don't know your personal circumstance I don't know your personal situation or your personal goals But as I go through these insights and as I go through this training I'm sure that you're probably going to get some unique thoughts that are really relevant to just you based upon what you're hearing and what I'd love for you to be able to do is to not lose those ideas or those thoughts or those aha moments I'd like you to be able to capture them for yourself so that you can deploy them into your business and importantly, more importantly, get results with them, okay? So uh, again, like I said earlier before, I'll play my part if you'll play your part. So be present and take notes, pay attention, let's rock and roll. So earlier this year, as I told you, I had hosted the Guilt Listing Summit and I got access to 30, over 35 real, real estate industry powerhouses, right? Insiders and long time, long term successes. And one of the industry insiders that I got to interview is Howard Tager. Now Howard, if you don't recognize his name, was the founder of Tiger Leads, which was then acquired by uh, Realtor.org. He's currently now, two years later, uh, a little over two years later, the founder of YLOPO, a platform that's focused on transforming the quality of leads for agents. But this is what he had to say uh, in an hour, in an hour long interview, the video interview that I had with him. And this is a direct quote. He says, the annual volume of home sales doesn't change much, but the number of leads we're producing in the industry is exponential. And that's a big problem. That's a disconnect. At the end of the day, there are only an X number of transactions that are gonna happen in any given realtor's market, yet we're producing exponential, logarithmic, geometric numbers of leads. Uh, if you were watching the video, what Howard does when he's sharing this is he show, holds, up, holds up one of his arms across his chest to show a flat line, right? He says, this is the number, you know, this is the, uh, the, the annual volume of home sales. Doesn't change that much. Goes up a little, goes up, down a little. But it basically hovers around 5 million homes per year. Uh, then he held up his other arm but practically straight up and said, this is the chart for how many leads are being generated and sold by all the lead portals combined. And that's just climbing, climbing, climbing. And so when you look at that visual, you understand there's a massive disconnect. Howard went on to say this. He says this, here's a dirty little secret of that industry. The portals are actually very upfront that, hey, we're gonna sell your lead three to four times. So everybody knows that it's a race to get to the leads. But what they're not being told is that consumer doesn't fill out a form on just one home. They might statistically fill out 2.7 forms or 3.2 forms. Well, do the math. Now that one lead is being exposed to and sold to nine to 12 realtors. And that doesn't even include the lenders they're selling to and those lenders have realtor partners. Okay, so just let that sink in. Now, while that's sinking in, let me share with you another insight that I got from Gary Elwood. Now, Gary Elwood is somebody else that I got access to through the Guild Listing Summit and got a chance to interview. He's the CEO of ProQuest Technologies. Uh, and since they were founded in 1995, 
they've generated over 28 million leads for their clients. So they've gone through a lot of cycles and evolutions in the market, kind of like the whole done, been there, done that type of thing, right? Got the t-shirt. He did a long intensive research project. Gary's one of those guys that just likes to just get down to the bottom of things and just research and research and dig and dig and dig until he kind of cracks the code and gets to the bottom of what's going on. And here's the math that he dug up on the industry. He going through a lot of sources uh, using NAR, Zillow, Trulia, and Active Rain as the sources where he was pulling his information and kind of combining the data. Here's what he was able to distill. We right now as an industry, the real estate industry, we spend, so that's you, right? We, you, spend $12 billion a year on marketing and advertising, okay? And about 45% of that $12 billion is online spend, which comes to about $5.4 billion, okay? The interesting thing is, is according to NAR, only about 500,000 homes a year are sold from online marketing sources, meaning only about 500,000 deals a year are as a result of online marketing um, that agents are gonna get an ROI on, okay? But remember, there's about 5 million homes sold on average every year. So check this out. When you take $5.4 billion, which is what we as an industry are spending on online marketing, you know, buying leads and other types of platforms and all the stuff that can go into online marketing, and you divide it by the number of deals that come from online marketing, the average transaction, the average cost per transaction is actually $10,800 which is just absolutely ridiculous, right? And it's absolutely unsustainable. Now, if you're anything like me, you probably know a few agents or at least one agent who's successful in buying leads online and converting them into business. But for every one that does that, there's, they're far and few in between compared to the many, many, many agents who never get any outcome. I don't know if you can relate to this, but you know, if you've ever spent you know, $100 here or $500 there or $1,000 with this platform or you know, two, $3,000 with this lead source, what happens is you keep spending money every, you know, here and there because you know you understand that you know I got to spend money to make money. I've got to buy advertising. I've got to buy leads. I've got to buy exposure. I've got to buy visibility. Right? You're in a numbers game. We all understand that. But the thing is, is that if you think back, I don't know how long you've been in the business, but if you think back to whenever you started, you've probably spent quite a bit of money here and there that didn't ever actually pan into a lot of consistent business or new business. Well, if you stack all those um, spends acr up across all agents, what's happening is that it, as, an as an industry, we're actually spending $10,800 per unit that's generated, per sale, or per transaction that's generated from online advertising, okay? But for every transaction online, the average agent does 5.2 transactions from repeats and referrals, okay? So what does all this mean? What all this means is this. One is that real estate leads are being daisy chained. If you're familiar with that phrase from the real estate investing industry, you know what I'm talking about. But basically it's when, you know, a bunch of wholesale bird doggers try to get on a deal and they all think, they all say that they have the deal under contract, but basically they're all just stacking their contracts on top of each other and they're daisy chaining a deal. Anyways, what's happening with real estate leads right now is they're being daisy chained, right? They're being, it's like a house of cards. Now every portal is selling leads, but the consumers are going online and filling out multiple forms online on multiple houses. So they're all being resold. So the number of leads that are being sold is constantly climbing, but the number of homes, number of transactions gonna happen isn't, right? So with a, the number of homes sold annually doesn't swing too much, but the number of leads being sold is literally climbing exponentially. And when you understand this, when you see this, you, un you then understand that there is a massive disconnect between what's actually available for real estate agents as real business opportunity and what the lead generation sub industry says there is in terms of the number of leads that they're trying to sell. When you look at the macro numbers, especially when you look at the data that Gary was able to uncover, most of the real estate lead generation sub industry is quite literally being financed by agents repeat and referral business, okay? And that leads me to secret number two, because now I want to show you how you can get good listing leads for less than $2,000 a month, even less than $1,000 a month if you had to. And look, I'm not saying that internet leads and online advertising doesn't work. As a matter of fact, it can work really, really well. Uh, but I want to do right this, so I'm not telling you to throw out the baby with the bathwater, okay? And I'm not throwing out the baby with the bathwater. 
But what I am saying is that, that we've got to be wise to what's happening in the industry and we've got to be able to look at what's what and see what's actually working, right? And again, it's earlier I shared with you that, that you know, how my out desk has that big picture perspective or that big picture advantage. Um, and I've already shown you a little bit of that because we're able to see the back end of so many different businesses and also because we're able to get access to insights and knowledge that the regular agent necessarily isn't able to, right? As you already saw. Well, now it's about to get even a whole lot better for you because now I'm going to show you how you can actually counter a lot of what's going on in the industry today and be able to build a predictable listing machine. All right. So get your notepad and pen ready. I hope your pen has ink. Let me ask you a question and I actually want you to chime in and respond and let me know if you had to choose, would you want lots of leads or high quality leads? If you had to choose between one or the other, type in the chat box and let me know which one would you pick. If you had to choose between lots of leads or high quality leads, which one would you pick? Because I'm about to share some things with you. They're going to be a little bit contrary uh, to maybe what you've heard before, but I want to hear kind of what we're thinking uh, as a group. Stacy Reynolds says high quality. Danielle Maza says quality. ZJ Hickey says high quality leads, of course. Sandra uh, Borutu, Borutoy says, Barudi says high quality. Jody Donaldson says high quality. Tammy uh, Clymer says definitely high quality. Uh, Phil Agree says high. Okay, perfect. So it sounds like we're all in agreement. Now, to be clear, I would say the exact same thing. So I'm stoked and happy that we all kind of are aligned on that. That helps a lot. Um, so now that we're in agreement with that, of course, the best case scenario is if we could get lots of high quality leads, right? And I'm sure we're all nodding your head up and down and saying, duh, exactly. Um, but if we had to choose, I'm happy that we're all in agreement, the high quality leads would be the way to go, right? And you guys are all probably imagining the difference between having to try to scrub 100 internet leads that you got in one week or taking three, four inbound phone calls from referrals in one week, right? And which one's obviously going to do more for your business? Well, I'm sure we can all agree it's going to be the three to four inbound referral calls, right? Anyway, so let me, uh, so now that I'm, I'm, now that I know that we're all on the same wavelength, let me kind of break down a little bit of the psychology of what we found works or kind of the framework that we believe in here at my out desk for leads. And then I'm going to give you the exact, I'm going to give you the two case studies uh, that I told you about earlier. So we have a phrase here at my out desk that we, uh, that we call strong intent, high probability. And strong intent and high probability is exactly what we want to see in any lead source if we're going to be treated as a, a, a predictable source of business that we would advise our clients and help our clients implement into their business through our virtual assistants. Okay. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, as I said earlier, internet leads aren't the only leads out there. Okay. There's a lot of other kind of places to get leads. And when I say strong intent, what I mean is that the lead, the prospect, needs to be showing real consumer behavior. And you might be asking, well, what's real consumer behavior, Andre? Well, some examples are this. Driving around neighborhoods with an entire family in a minivan, looking at a neighborhood that you might be interested in living in. Right? If somebody fills up their SUV with $100 in gas, throws the kids in the car, with snacks and games and spends an entire Saturday morning driving around a neighborhood looking at homes they might be interested in, that's somebody with real consumer behavior, right? Um, somebody who's mapping out open houses and then visiting them, going on an open house circuit. That's somebody showing strong intent, real consumer behavior, right? You gotta be looking for that real behavior because if it's there, they're much more likely to actually become a client and become a commission and ideally become a referral, right? And then of course, most ideally become a repeat client again, right? Um, now you might be wondering, saying, Andre, driving around neighborhoods and map, uh, mapping open houses is buyer behavior, but earlier you said that you're gonna show us how to set up a predictable listing machine. Well, if you thought that, one, I'm happy that you're paying attention. Two, right now, most agents don't know this, but we're at an all-time low. We're at a 35-year all-time low for first-time home buyers. Do you know what that means for you as an agent right now? What that means is that approximately 40% of buyers across the nation are also seller opportunities. Literally almost one in every two buyers is a listing opportunity. Most agents don't get that. Uh, or don't know that, and so they don't, they, don't, they don't have a process in place to take advantage of that. And I'm about to show you uh, an incredible and simple process for being able to take advantage of this 35-year all-time low, okay? You're going to be blown away, and I'm going to back it up with case studies. 
And also, well, we say high probability. And high probability means has real motivation. And what do I mean by high probability having real motivation? Let me put it to you this way. Imagine this with me for a second. Somebody sitting on their couch, 9.37 p.m., watching their favorite TV show. They got a bowl of ice cream, munching away, happy as a clam. And a commercial break comes on. And that commercial break might be from some big real estate company or something to do with real estate values or whatever it may be. Well, it's a commercial break that you're, that person is sitting there at 9.37 p.m. in their sweatpants or their pajamas eating that bowl of ice cream. And they've got the laptop or they've got their iPad right next to them, right? Because we've all got three screens around us, right? So while the commercials drone on, what does this, what does this uh, person do? Well, they get on the laptop and they go to that real estate site or they go to some real estate site and they punch in their home address because they want to see what the value of their house is. And of course, to get the valuation, they got to put in their email address and the name and their telephone number. So they put in some information, they get their little report, they look at it. And within two, three minutes, their, their favorite TV show is back on. It's now 9.39 p.m. or it's 9.40 p.m. And guess what they do? They take that laptop and they close it or they take that iPad and they slide it across the couch and they go back to their, you know, vanilla ice cream with, you know, almond chunks in it. And they keep watching their favorite TV show. But what just happened to that contact data? Well, it just got taken by that lead portal and it got sold to three to four real estate agents as a lead. Let me ask you something. Do you think that person in that moment has shown any strong intent or high probability with any real motivation of selling their home? If you're thinking the same thing I'm thinking, you're saying no, right? As that song goes, do you see what I see? Uh, and a lot of leads, that's what happens to a lot of leads. And what we found here at my out desk is that, you know, you got to boil things down to common sense. Where's the strong intent, high probability leads and focus as much of your business on finding those leads. Okay. I'm sure we can all agree with that. Right? So now with that set up with you understanding what our underlying philosophy is around leads, let me dive in. Let me introduce you to your first case study and let me help you change your business for the rest of 2017 and beyond. And I know I sound a little, a little, a little dramatic right now, but see if this doesn't deliver in spades for you in the next 15 to 20 minutes, okay? So meet Chris Juarez. Chris Juarez has taken a sleepy, simple, silly strategy that we all know about called open houses, and he's refined an open house process that nets him no less than two new clients per open house every time he does it. And on average, at least half of those clients are listings, okay? And, and he did something that no real estate agent is supposed to ever do. He moved cities, but he didn't do it just once. He did it twice. And you know what happens when you move to cities as a real estate agent, your whole business restarts from zero, right? Well, he moved cities, not once, but twice. He used this strategy that I'm about to share with you to rebuild his business both times. And if you're wondering how well it did last year, he did 225 deals with using this strategy as a core driver for himself and his team. Now, I don't know about you, but, you know, and I know I sound a little bit, sarc you know, a little bit sarc tongue in cheek here, but, you know, 225 deals in a year is a respectable and happily successful business by anybody's standards, okay? Now, what he's done with this open house process is he's broken it down into what he calls the six P's. And what I'm going to show you right now is one of the P's. It's the seven-day promotion process because really it's the meat and potatoes of it, okay? And I want you to be able to walk away with something you can deploy immediately into your business. Now, when I say seven day promotion process, I'm gonna literally, I'm gonna literally do you the favor uh, of breaking this down day by day. So when I say day one, what it means is it's the first day of the seven day promotion process leading up to the open house, okay? Um, so if, for example, if you started it today, then that means your open house is next Wednesday. Okay, so today, Thursday is day one, then tomorrow, Friday is gonna be day two, then Saturday is gonna be day three, with Wednesday being day seven on the seventh day is when you actually have the open house, all right? I hope that I made that clear. Um, so here's day one. Literally, you're gonna be amazed at how simple this is, but I promise you, and this is what, this is what Chris shared with me, is uh, they've taken some of these steps out and they found that anytime they take any, any of these steps out, the results just aren't the same. But as long as you follow these steps, then you're going you're gonna to be able to duplicate and replicate the results that not only the Chris gets, but also another case study that I'm going to introduce you to as well. Okay, so day number one, what you do is you simply do the easy step of selecting the open house. 
If you don't have a listing, you can do what Chris did, which is basically just set the open houses for the listings of other agents in his brokerage. As a matter of fact, every time Chris moved cities, um, he, believe this or not, believe this or not, he um, would schedule four to five open houses a week. And that's literally all he did. Um, so he was constantly starting the seven day process for a new listing almost, you know, for a new open house almost, you know, every other day. Uh, and it just worked incredibly well. So day number one, you select an open house. Day number two, you post the house online to just like free places, Craigslist, you know, Facebook, anywhere else that would make sense to post it and get exposure. Then what you do is you obtain a call list, and you can probably get this from your title company if you don't have a good data source. You're going to obtain a call list for the homes around that open house, and you're also going to mail invites to the 100 closest owner-occupied homes around the open house, and you can get the mailing list usually from a title company as well for free uh, if you don't have a data source. Day number three, you post online again to the same free places that you've been doing it before, and you begin calls to the neighborhood, and your open house sign goes in the yard. Now, here's what you say when you call around in the neighborhood. This is literally all you're going to say, and it's so simple and it's so easy to say. You're simply going to say, hey, this is Andre calling from you know, ABC Realty. Hey, your neighbors, John and Susan at 345 Elm Street, just asked me to call you and let you know about their open house and invite you to their open house. And by the way, if you want to have a chance to choose your next neighbors, if you have any friends or family looking to move into the neighborhood, let them know about it. Now's their chance to look at a great house. That's literally as easy of a call as you could ever make, okay? Day number four, you post online again to all the free places. You continue calls to the neighbors. If you have a CRM and you have any sort of segmentation or tags happening in it, you invite anybody in your database who's interested in buying a home in that area. Then you go through the sign calls to invite people to the open house if anybody's called off the, open, off the sign in the yard. And then you also follow up with any internet related leads to the open house. Anybody that might have responded or pinged you about from all the posting online that you did. Okay. Day number five is you post online again and then you boost a social media post on Facebook. Now, Chris li literally only spends about $20 to $30 boosting a post. So it's not that much. And then what you do is you prepare the open house folder. Now, you always make this digital. You prepare market stats, comps, and a digital flyer. And the reason why you keep it digital is this. When your foot traffic comes in the open house, you want to be able to offer them something of value in exchange for their information instead of relying on them to fill out like just a, like a registration form for them being at the open house. Okay? And also, they're much more likely to give you accurate information if you offer them something of value. And all you have to do is say, hey, would you like me to send you the flyer? Would you like the flyer for this open house along with the market stats and comps? Most people are going to say yes. When they say that, you can say, great. Uh, well, we're, we've gone green, so we just make it digital so you can, that way you don't lose it driving around or anything like that. Uh, what's your email address? And then you capture their information, and now you have a lead that you can follow up with. Day number six, you post online again. You continue to boost that social media post, and now's when you go door knocking. When you door knock, you're simply going to door knock the 100, at least 100 closest homes to the open house, and you're simply going to literally say the same script that you said when you called folks. And if you already called them, they've already heard from you, so then when you door knock, now they get to have a, fa a face with the voice, right? They get to have, they get to have a, a face with the name, and you now have a second touch point with all the neighbors. And so you're going to simply say, hey, it's Andre again from ABC Realty. Just wanted to remind you about John and Susan's uh, open house that is happening tomorrow, right, uh, at 2 o'clock. And it, they just wanted to, to invite you and to let you know that if you've got any friends or family looking to buy here, then, you know, the open house is tomorrow. And then day seven, the day of the open house, if you didn't do the door knocking, that's when you do it. And then you go set up all your open house signs. And Chris's formula is you want a minimum of seven, okay? You want a minimum of seven set up. And if possible, you're choosing an open house that's no more than three signs away from a major road artery. That way you can maximize uh, your foot traffic. So that is literally the seven-day process for, prom for pro the seven-day promotion process and preparation process uh, for an open house using Chris Juarez's strategy that has literally been the core driver of growing his business to 225 deals last year, okay? Now I want to introduce you to one of our clients, Lisa Archer, and show you what she's been able to do with this. And of course, this is through the My Outdesk Advantage and the Big Picture Perspectives, being able to take advantage of the insights that we have access to. She started using this open house strategy in July of 2016. 
So I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sipping on my tea here so I can protect my throat as I'm presenting this. So if you ever hear me go silent for a few minutes, because I'm or for a second, I'm sipping on my green tea. I'm going to go slow through this because I really want these numbers to sink in for you guys, okay? So really please pay attention and forgive me for kind of being a little slow about it, but I really want to give it the space it needs. So picture, an, picture a calendar, picture the timeline. Lisa started using this strategy that I just shared with you one year ago, right? Because it's July right now. She started doing this in July of 2016, okay? One of the reasons I really want you to visualize the timeline is because I want you to see how this could be you 12 months from now, okay? Uh, because as you obviously saw what I just presented to you, I'm sure you can agree you could probably go implement everything I just showed you, right? And if you're not, you head up and down because it really is that simple, then I'm happy that that's the case. And I'm also hoping that you're going to go and apply what you just learned, okay? But hang with me here. So she started using this open house strategy in July of 2016. This is a year ago. Now, by the end of last year, so just from July of 2016 to December of 2016, by the end of the year, 25% of her business came from this one strategy. So one thing that she implemented for six months ended up being resulted in 25% of all the business she generated over the entire 12 months of last year, okay? Now, if you're wondering how many, what kind of a business she had before doing this, right, and saying to Andre, you know, well, doing five deals in one year, if she grew her business by that much, that's not a big deal. She did 165 deals last year in 2016, okay? Again, a respectable and very successful real estate business by anybody's standards, right? So what that means is that 41 deals for her business last year came from this, what I call silly, simple strategy, right? Open houses. Now, let me be clear. I used to be the guy who rolled his eyes at open houses. I was like, man, this is a waste of time. It's just to make the client happy. It doesn't really do anything for agents. It's not very predictable. I don't like it. Of course, when, you know, when somebody shows you plain as day that you're wrong, you kind of have to wake up and say, okay, I think I was wrong. And when I got a chance to interview Chris for over an hour, he completely ninja'd my mind and, and you know, it was like pulled a Jedi trick on me and showed me what's possible. And then, of course, if I come to find out from the mastermind that, you know, Lisa's in with Chris and it was some of our clients are participating in, they're getting access to these strategies and implementing them that most agents don't know about, right? Now she has three virtual assistants with my out desk and she uses them for the entire process short of door knocking and sitting the open house, okay? Now, I want you to think about that. She literally uses a hybrid virtual team to do the entire process for her short of just door knocking and sitting the open house itself, which obviously you have to do in person. And the result of that has been a 41 additional deals. Now, I, I just talked with her again about four, four or five weeks ago, and she says that this strategy is still resulting in about 25% of her business. It continues to generate about 25% of her new business, okay? But she's taken it to the next level, even beyond what Chris was doing, because she's used leveraging virtual assistants here through my out desk. And this is what she has, this is what she has implemented for her now. She has her ISAVA circle prospect prior to the open house, when the house goes under contract, and after the house closes. Okay. Prior to the open house, the script is what I already told you it is, right? Hey, my name is Andre from Acme Realty, and uh, your, your neighbors, you know, Jill and John, asked me to invite you to the open house. When the house goes under contract, it's a pretty basic standard real estate script. It's, hey, my name is Andre, you know, I'm calling from Acme Realty. I just want to let you know that John and Jill's house just went under contract, but we've got a lot of buyers interested in the market right now in the area. You know, would you like us to, you know, if you get the right price, do you think you'd be interested in selling your home or would you be interested in knowing what your home could sell for? Um, and then after the house closes, it's the same follow-up. Hey, John and Jill's house just closed and sold for, you know, $347,000. I don't know if you know this, but whenever a house sells, that's the biggest, imp that one thing that has the biggest impact on what your house might sell for in the next six to nine months. Would you like me to put together a market stat market comps for your home so you could see what that would be worth? These are all just touch points of value that are now very natural and normal because guess what? They've already heard from you when you were inviting them to John and Jill's open house. They've heard from you when you door knocked or somebody in your team door knocked, 
right? So now when you follow up with them when it's under contract, when you follow up with them when the house closes, it's just a natural extension and a continuation of that, you know, light, re you know, light relationship that you've started to develop. In Lisa's case, and also now in Chris's case, using a hybrid team, they don't even make these calls themselves anymore, right? This entire process is now done for them and implemented for them. Both Chris and Lisa are using a hybrid team for running this now. Here's what's really interesting. Lisa has actually quit traditional farming completely and now cracks open new neighborhoods by simply circle prospecting a brokerage listing or sitting another brokerage listing open. And uh, when I talked with her four or five weeks ago, she shared with me something really interesting. She said, Andre, uh, one of the open houses that we did back in July following this process, July of last year, they are still they are still snowballing into new listings in that, mar in that, in that market, in that, in that area. What's happened is because of all the contact points that they have, the touch, point, touch points that they have of value with all the neighbors in promoting the open house, um, it's giving them such a strong, steady presence that when a neighbor sells a house and there's a new listing opportunity in the next one, to, you know, 30 to 60 to 90 days, Lisa and her team are top of mind because, well, they've been present. And then, of course, when, in the, when another neighbor is thinking about selling their house, they're like, who's going to sell my house and give me the most money for it? Well, they remember Lisa's team and the, the level of, you know, the level of service that they provided for John and Jill, right, or Chris's team. So, of course, that becomes a natural, uh, a natural phone call, right? And uh, to this day, Lisa, is still, Lisa and her team are still literally cracking open new listings in some of the neighborhoods that they did an open house in back in July of last year. So it just keeps going and going and going. And none of this is rocket science, right? Everything I've shared with you is literally simple step by step, but it's just knowing the right process and then never skipping a step and, having it, and, and making sure you do it. And of course, if you don't have the time or the bandwidth to do it yourself consistently, you have somebody do it for you in, Chris, in Chris's and Lisa's case, using a hybrid team of virtual assistants, which leads me to point number three. Let me show you how you can build a predictable business value and completely hijacking your entire life. Now, in the words of Tony Robbins, if you want to achieve success, all you need to do is find a way to model those who have already succeeded. And I'm sure you can agree with that, right? If you see how somebody else does something successfully, you can then go and take that and duplicate it for yourself. Well, what we found in modeling, in, in modeling the success of some of our early successful clients for, uh, for our subsequent clients, because we like to help all of our clients succeed, uh, is, is we found three predictable patterns. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, you probably ha I'm going to guess that you probably have a vision for what you want your business to be like, right? You probably have a vision or an idea of the, you know, like the goals that you have, how many clients you want to serve, how many transactions you do this year, right? You probably have an idea of how many deals you want to do next year, I'm assuming, right? Um, I'm going to guess that you probably have an idea or a vision for uh, what it feels like to run, or to work in your business. You probably have an idea what it feels like, uh, or you probably have an idea or a goal for how much money you make. You probably have, you probably actually have a very good idea of the kind of lifestyle that you want to be able to enjoy and, and achieve for yourself and your family and loved ones, right? Um, and if you're like most of the clients and agents that we work with, you probably have an idea of the kind of impact that you want to be able to make on your community and on your friends and just kind of the, con the, the type of contribution that you want to make, I would imagine. Um, and so if you have all these things, whatever these things are, whatever your vision is, whatever, you, whatever your definition of a good lifestyle and success is for you, and, I, and it is unique for all of us, right? But whatever it is for you, um, there's three predictable patterns that every age, successful agent that we've ever worked with has gone through in getting to that ideal outcome for themselves, okay? Regardless of kind of what the level of business was or how many deals it was or how much money it was, there's just three predictable patterns that most agents have to go through, and I'm going to show them to you now. Predictable, number pa predictable pattern number one is learning how to master time and productivity, okay? And most of you probably have a handle on this by now, I would imagine, right? You probably read a book or two, maybe listen to some podcasts, maybe you listen to a coach, maybe you've gone through some training, but you've generally got a handle on it or you're getting a handle on mastering your time and productivity. Predictable pattern number two that every agent has to crack through as a ceiling in order to be able to kind of get to the next level is hiring and building a team. Now, this is where most agents struggle and hit a ceiling 
and fail. That's why we have the higher and fire cycle, right? But this is where you go faster and farther if you're able to crack it. And this is how you build a predictable business without it hijacking your entire life. And this is how you finally get off the roller coaster and start scaling predictably, okay? And the predictable pattern number three is leadership and vision, which is kind of where, you know, Chris and Lisa are at now. And this is focusing on culture, leadership, and community. Now, where we really, the, the, the pain and the problem that we really solve for is, here at my out desk is, as you can probably guess, uh, solving for predictable pattern number two. Um, and we've, and as you've seen from some of the case studies, when that's solved for, the results and the outcomes can be incredible. And also think back to when you met Toral, one of our clients who did 170 deals last year. It really all comes down to this really critical pattern number two. So let me give you some insights and advice around that, around cracking that predictable pattern. One, don't try to hire someone to be, to be Superman or Wonder Woman because that doesn't work. They don't exist, okay? You, what you rather want to do is hire with a specific outcome in mind. And the outcome you want to have in mind is one of two things. You either want to know exactly what will be taken off your plate forever, or you want to know exactly what revenue-producing process will be implemented for you, just like with Lisa and Chris. So that no matter what you're doing, you know that that's going to be implemented for you. Uh, and that way you can keep your new hire focused on fulfilling that one outcome until it's working and only then add something to their plate or simply make your next hire and keep scaling and growing your business. Because if somebody's being a profitable asset for you, why upset the cart, right? Um, so we have found that this is the best and smartest way to hire is not to hire somebody to try to do a long list of things necessarily unless you know what outcome you'll get with getting all those things taken off your plate. The other way to really be able to hire really well is to know what revenue producing process will be implemented for you, kind of like this open house process that gets implemented for Lisa and Chris. And again, it's not rocket science, it's just a process, right? But the key is, no matter how busy they are or what they're doing or they're not doing or what's happening in their personal life or with clients, that process has to be getting implemented for you at all times, right? For it to take you off the roller coaster, uh, in the real estate roller coaster and to create predictability and consistency in your business, right? You get that. So that's the key to being able to hire for revenue producing processes and just having them implemented for you. Now, I know I've shared a lot with you guys uh, and you probably feel like you've been drinking out of a fire hose. What I want to do is I want to ask you a question right now and that is this. Do you think, do you see how it's possible where if you're being aware of what you learned in secret number one, right? Understanding what's happening with lead generation online as a whole right now, and being able to aware of that so you can make smarter financial decisions. And then if you were able to, and if you decided to take and implement what you learned in number two with the open house strategy and did it consistently, just the way that Chris did and how Lisa Archer did. And then if you simply followed a process for being able to uh, hire for an outcomes, not necessarily for just to-do lists, the way you learned in secret number three, if you applied all of those for your business, do you believe that you could probably create a better outcome for your business or create a higher level of success for your business? And I want you to type in the chat box and let me know. Do you think that if you implemented all those things for yourself that you already learned here today, that you could succeed with them and see a significant results in your business? Uh, Minaj says yes. Sandra says yes. Keep them coming. Keep them coming. Tammy says I believe. Keep them coming. I want to hear what you guys have to say. Stacy Randall says yes. Keep them coming. I'm reading this. I'm reading this, guys. I want to hear from you. Um, I want to keep hearing from you. So we're getting yeses. Keep coming in. We've gotten some. We got one dove course from Tim. Um, okay. So I want to ask you a question now. Would you like me to show you? <clears throat> Would you like me to show you uh, a process that we've put together that can actually help you implement everything that you've learned today and actually get more out of it than even what I've already shared? If you're okay with that, then please type in the chat box and say yes. And then I'd like to show you. A uh, very special offer that we've put together uh, that you can you can see for yourself whether it makes sense and whether you want to take advantage of it. Uh, and everybody's saying yes to that. Stacy says yes. Sean says yes. Sandra says yes. Tammy, stay, everybody's saying yes again. Awesome. Perfect. So I will dive right in. We're going to spend about another 10 minutes going through this. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you guys the link to your free gift uh, so you can download the My Outdesk Launch package. Okay. So what we've put together is something called the Business in a Box. Okay, and what this is, is it's actually a reimagination of what it means to hire in the real estate industry. Uh, to my knowledge, there's nothing like this out there in the industry. I've been here at my out desk for a little over four months, and I've been really focusing on putting together something 
that just is a completely different opportunity for real estate agents than what we're facing or being offered out there nowadays. Something that really makes sense and makes a big difference fast, okay? And the answer for that is a business in a box. Now, what is the business in a box? Well, here's what you're going to get inside of it. Uh, the first thing that comes in the business in a box is, as you could have already guessed, a work-ready virtual assistant. But unlike something with Elance or Upwork or any of those types of platforms, the difference here is that this virtual assistant is going to be exclusive to you. They're going to be you base, they're going to be your team member. Okay. Also, we put them through a vetting process. We put them through a background check. We put them through a GWC framework, which is that gets it, wants it, has competency to do it. We take the entire idea of having to, the higher the entire issue of having to hire off your plate. Uh, we take them through the three E's experience, expertise, and employment, we look, we, we check all those boxes. And then also we handle all the payroll benefits and medical. So it's just a flat recurring fee per month for you. Uh, and that way it's just whatever your, whatever your flat resubscription fee is per month for the virtual assistant, that's your all in. You don't have to deal with any employment regulations at the state or the federal level. Okay. And this way what happens is that basically you, instead of having to go through posting a job resume, you know, job job posting online and having to write one and post it online um, and then having to filter, you know, tens if not hundreds of resumes and then have to do the screening phone calls uh, and then having to go through this entire process, uh, hair pulling process, you know, uh, you know, of them doing the interviews and then after that going to the onboarding process, we actually take care of all that for you and we put them through a vetting process, a background check, so they're ready to go, right? Um, the other thing that's really important here that's so different about the business in a box today is that they come with access to five proven strategies that they can implement for you. Now, you've actually learned about one of them already. It's the open house strategy from Chris Suarez. We've also got a strategy called the boom strategy from Lisa Archer, which is the bringing online offline marketing process. We've got another strategy called the neighborhood niche strategy from Joel Sherlock. Okay, which is just absolutely incredible. This is another agent who's absolutely killing it. We've got the ultimate Facebook post strategy from Michael Mayer. Michael Mayer is the author of 7L, a book you've probably heard of, but he has an incredible Facebook strategy that is wrapped around something he calls the ultimate Facebook post. And then also we have listing getting strategies using Facebook from Josh Shanley. Josh Shanley is the mind and the brain behind clientalchemist.com, and they do a lot of amazing work with Facebook. Okay, so when you hire with the business in a box when you hire a virtual assistant through my outdesk you get the business in a box and not only do you get the virtual assistant to be able to implement you know take things off your plate but you also they come with five access to five proven strategies they can implement for you just like what you see is being done for chris and for lisa okay with this you're going to be able to get time robbing tasks off your plate forever you're going to be able to get hours of revenue productive time back every single day and week you're going to start seeing stability in your business once and for all because this is how it happens is when you have somebody implementing revenue producing processes for you. You're going to get predictability in growing your business and you're going to unlock consistent streams of new listings on a monthly and weekly basis, all right? And you're going to know proven you're going to, and you're going to know that there's a proven process being implemented for you even if you're busy or unavailable. And on the flip side, you're going to be able to get rid of feeling like you're always on a real estate roller coaster. You're going to be able to get rid of losing your entire life and weekends to your business and clients. And you're going to be able to get rid of wasting thousands of dollars on leads, marketing, and ideas that simply don't work, which you've probably been there and done that, right? Like most of us, it's almost like a rite of passage. And you're going to be able to get rid of that uneasy feeling when you're not working because you're going to know that a business generating process is in fact being implemented for you, okay? And also, as I shared earlier, you're going to get the hair pulling process of finding and hiring team members off your plate because we do that for you. We actually just match it with two to four right fit candidates. You talk with them. You pick the one that you like and away you guys go. But that's not all. So not only are you going to get a work ready virtual assistant, which is a value of that is $1,997, but to really make it different with the business in a box, we've included something that, uh, to my knowledge, is not available anywhere else. And that's a 90 day launch. Now, what is that? What that is, is it's a process that we've set up that gets you twice the results, three times as fast. What we have found in the real estate industry is that if a new hire doesn't work, typically doesn't work out in the 90, first 90 days. But if they work out in the first 90 days and they successfully implement a strategy or process for you that produces revenue, then what happens is, then what happens is that then they become a long-term profitable asset for you and your business, okay? 
And so what we do to make sure that that happens is we actually provide you with a dedicated client success coach. This is literally an entire other human in our company at my out desk that works with you and with the virtual assistant to make sure that one, you're getting the outcomes that you need and want and that the virtual assistant is uh, giving, you know, getting the right communication from you and getting the right support from you uh, so that you guys get the outcome that you're looking for that you need. Okay. You're going to get hands on help with the onboarding so that you see success quickly. So this is literally done with you. This isn't something where you hire a virtual assistant and you got to go off and figure it out on your own. And because we do it with you, because we do it hands on, you don't have to worry about making a lot of time for it which obviously, as you know, time is money. Uh, you're not going to have to wonder what to do next throughout the process because you're going to have a dedicated success coach working with you and the VA to make sure that you guys get traction. And you're going to simply just need to primarily train on preferences, not so much skills because of all the vetting and the background check and the three E's that we do. Okay. So what you're going to get today with the business in a box is a work ready virtual assistant. And then also the 90 day launch process, which is a value of $997. So the total value of everything that I've got put together here for you today as a special offer is $2,994. Now, you might be asking yourself, who has this worked for? Well, that's a good question. One, this has worked for real estate agents looking to make their first hire, okay? So if that's you, this will work for you. Um, this has worked for real estate entrepreneurs with teams already, but who really wanna grow their GCI and take it to the next level. If that's you, we have, this has worked for you as well. This works for team leaders who have the responsibility of growing production and need to grow it quickly and fast. And this also has worked for real estate agents who already have an assistant, but now just need to start leveraging themselves more and accelerating growth quickly. Okay. Now what I want to do is I want to take a, a couple of minutes to tell you a couple more quick short stories of some of our other clients. Uh, so I already mentioned Tristan's name, Tristan Ahumada, but I want to give you a little bit more in-depth background on him as a client here at my outdesk. When Tristan came to us, he was struggling to keep up with all of his database and clients while also building out lab code agents, okay? So he turned to my out desk for help, and he ended up hiring his first virtual assistant with us, okay? And what do you think the results have been? Well, he deployed the 90-day launch process, and he had his assistant focus on prospecting, okay? And the 90-day launch process is the same thing that you can get access to today, okay? Now, what were the results of hiring a My Outdesk virtual assistant who comes with access to five proven strategies, gets vetted, goes through a background check, and then you get help with a 90-day launch pro through the 90-day launch process hands-on? Well, the results are this. Now, his virtual assistant now averages setting 10 listing appointments a week for him. That's not an exaggeration, that's not a typo, that's not a mistake, okay? Now, are these typical results for all clients? No, but it, this is a very uh, possible outcome for you, and it's the, it can be the average for, it's the average for a lot of our clients across the board if they have a full-time prospecting assistant who does just that for them, okay? Uh, and this is now what provides him the consistency no matter how busy he gets with anything else that's going on in his business, okay? I want you to meet the Bronx as well. They're clients of ours as well, as you can imagine. What they did, their story's a little different. They had had an in-house admin assistant, but they lost her. Um, she uh, decided, uh, if I remember correctly, um, they just, her, the assistant and her husband decided to have a child, and so she just went to be a stay-at-home mom. So she was no longer working. What, they, what happened was then they hired a second assistant. Well, the second assistant became competition right after she finally got good as Michelle Brunk shares. She goes, they finally got, she finally got good. And as soon as she figured out how to do everything, she went off and became <laughs> our competition. And of course, you know, add insult to injury, the Bronx had paid for the real estate license, right? You maybe have experience with this where you train somebody, pay for their training, their license, and then they become your competition. Um, and then after that, they just kind of struggled to find talent in their market because they're kind of in a smaller town in Florida and they just don't have a big market of talent there, right? So they got introduced to us. They hired a virtual assistant with my out desk. And in six short weeks, they were able to literally delegate 80% of their back office tasks to her. That VA now runs their entire database, runs their marketing campaigns, is pulling their pre-listing packages, is writing their offers, and is training new agents on their systems. They did 87 deals last year. And now this year, because of the time they've had freed up people to focus on revenue producing activities, they're on track for doing over 120 deals this year, okay? 
And the final story here that I want to share with you is Sandra. Okay, and I just want to kind of give you a variety and show you all the different examples of agents who are being so successful uh, with my outdesk here. And they're coming from a variety of backgrounds. They're in a variety of different markets. And I really want to show you how this can work for just about any real estate agent if you're simply looking to grow your business. Okay, uh, Sandra is in one of the most competitive markets in the nation, South Beach, Miami. And she, what she was struggling with is to keep up with taking care of her clients, which are pretty high maintenance and kind of high demand, right, as you can imagine in South Beach but then and generating new opportunities consistently and having to take care of all the back office tasks. So she hired a virtual assistant with my outdesk to just start helping her with a lot of the back office tasks and helping generate and prospect for new opportunities while she continues to prospect as well. So she got tons of hours of her revenue productive time back and now this year she's on track to close over 35 deals in South Beach. And by the way, to do 35 deals in South Beach is a big deal, okay, as you can imagine, right? You guys know the price points there. Um, so that's Sandra, all right? And those are just a few of the stories that we have here, um, here at my outdesk and how we've been able to transform agents' businesses. I'm sure you're seeing how and why with the five proven strategies and a work-ready virtual assistant. But you might be asking yourself, what else might you need to be so successful? Well, we, of course, have thought that through because we also see what works with the big picture advantage. And one thing that we realize that can really help is ongoing training. So here's something else that's going to come with the, mod, with the business in a box is what we call Mod University. And what this is is that it's a mastermind for all of your staff. See, a lot of agents go to masterminds for themselves, but what about your staff? What about helping them constantly stay uh, to grow and to stay ahead of what's, stay ahead of what's trending and what's working? Well, this is a way for them to stay current with what's working so they catch trends as they appear. By the way, if you're plugged into My Outdesk University, if your staff is pro plugged into Mod University, you're going to be in a position to learn about things like the open house strategy and the boom strategy and the neighborhood niche strategy and all those different things. You're going to be in a position to learn about them right as soon as we learn about them at My Outdesk so you can start implementing them right away and get that advantage over your competition in the marketplace. Okay. Imagine if you were Lisa Archer 12 months ago and what that's done for you since, right? And all the other agents who have access to this. So we're going to keep your staff well trained for you. And we also get training access to most vendor tools out there. That way, uh, you don't have to try to train your staff on tools you might not be good at. We actually, because of the size of our company, we're now able to get a lot, most vendors to work with us and give us their training tools for free. We put that into Mod University and then your staff or your virtual assistant gets trained on them. So. The business in a box is a work ready virtual assistant that's going to be exclusive to you full time with you. It's going to be the 90 day launch process done with you and you're going to get access to Mod University which is an annual value of $1,164 if you paid $97 a month for it. You're going to get free access to that as long as you're a client. So the total value of everything we put together here today is $4,158. Now in closing and wrapping this up. If all this did was get you hours of your revenue productive time or personal time back, would it be worth it? Well, I imagine you could probably say yes, right? And especially after seeing Sandra's story, what that's done for her, what that's done for Michelle and Bruce Brunk, right? When you met the Brunks. If all this did was generate more listings for you every month, do you think that would be worth it? And I'm sure you're probably saying yes, right? Uh, and if, after seeing what it's done for Tristan, what it's done for Lisa, and what it's done for, you know, Toral Chauffeur, you can see what, you know, you can probably see why you, I can imagine you're saying yes as well. And if this took you off the real estate roller coaster once and for all and started getting you, giving you predictability, would that be worth $4,158? And I'm sure that you could say yes to that as well, right? Well, when we put this together, we had two choices. First option was to go as cheap as possible and try to sell as many as possible, which is what a lot of vendors do in, in most industries, but it wouldn't really incentivize us to stack the value. The second option was it required a little bit of a higher investment on our part, but in exchange, we could devote a lot more resources to guarantee your success, okay? So you can see why an agent would easily pay us $5,000 for this, right, or $4,158 to get this all. Um, but I'm not going to charge you $4,158 today. In fact, I'm not going to even charge you the normal setup fee that the general public has to pay to get started with us. Because you're special, you can get started today for just a $297 deposit. Okay? And you do that by simply going to myoutdesk.com forward slash start. And what you will do is when you make a deposit for $297, Somebody on our team is going to be in contact with you within 24 hours to schedule an in-depth interview with you with one of our success coaches. And then what's going to happen is that we're going to interview you. We're going to really get to know your business in-depth really well. 
And then what we're going to do is we're going to figure out exactly the kind of virtual assistant that you need. And we're going to go and, and we're going to find two to four virtual assistants that you can then, that are already vetted, that we put through the three E's. We're going to give them access to the five strategies. And then you're going to interview them on a Skype or like a Skype or a Zoom call. So it's a video chat. And you're going to talk to them. And whichever one you like, you're going to pick. And then after that, we're going to launch the 90-day launch process with a dedicated success coach. And we're going to make sure that you knock it out of the ballpark with that virtual assistant in the first 90 days. Okay. And all you have to do to get started for that is just go make a $297 deposit at myoutdesk.com forward slash start. Now you might be asking yourself, well, what else might I need to make this successful? Well, again, we've thought that through. And then one thing you might need is tools for your virtual assistant. So here's the first bonus for the first 30 people who take action today only. Okay. You're going to get access to salesdialers.com three line phone system for free for that 90 day launch. So normally this costs $109 a month if you went to their website and bought it. This is a three line system. Your virtual assistant is going to come with access to this for free for three months. So that if you want to have them circle prospecting, if you want them prospecting expireds or FISBOs, uh, or even calling your database or taking inbound calls, well, you're going to have a phone system set up for it. Okay. And for the first 30 people who take action today, you're going to get this literally for free for 90 days. This already covers the, 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 the deposit is already, uh, this already covers, this already is more than the deposit that you would be making. Uh, but what else might, might you need? You might be asking yourselves, we asked ourselves, what else would an agent need to be really successful? And what we found out is that you would need access to good data and lists, right? Whether it's for the open house process or any of the other strategies. So, the other bonus you're going to get access to is agentcircleprospecting.com, free for 90 days. And this is free for the first 20 people who take action today. Now, this is normally $39 a month, so it would be $117 for three months. And this right here, you're going to be able to use to get a list of all those owner-occupied homes uh, or be able to get a list of all the telephone numbers. You're going to be able to get lists of any sort of prospecting or data that you need access to, to so that you can have your virtual assistant then take action on that. Uh, and be able to start generating a business for you, okay? So to recap what you're getting today, you're gonna get a work-ready virtual assistant, the 90-day launch process, access to Mod University for your staff, and then you're gonna get sales dialers three-line phone system for free for 90 days, and you're gonna get agent circle prospecting free for 90 days, okay? So the total value today of everything that I've put together is $4,593, okay? So now from my perspective, it's this simple. Now you have two choices. First option is do nothing. Don't take this leap of faith, which by the way, is not 100% risk-free because if you don't try new things and you keep doing things the way that you've been doing them, chances are you're not gonna get any sort of new result or outcome. You already know that, right? The second option is you pony up this small investment today and compared to all the value to get in return, just give it a shot, all right? By the way, this is completely risk-free, all right? This comes, the $297 deposit comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee. So it's absolutely risk-free for you to get started today. And how does that work? Well, this is how it works. If we don't match you with a qualified virtual assistant within 30 days that you're happy to hire, then you will get a full refund of the deposit, no questions, no hassles, and no risk to you, okay? So you make a $297 deposit, and then it's on us, the clock starts ticking, and it's on us, to match you with two to four assistants that you can interview that you pick one that you like and hire. And you're under no obligation to hire any of them or to hire any virtual assistant. But you know, to get the process started, it's just simply a $297 deposit that comes with a 30 day money back guarantee. And I, we just feel like it's important to make it risk free for agents in the beginning so that you can kind of start working with us without any risk to you. Okay. And so the real question is, is it worth gambling a few minutes of your time to check this out, which if it does even half of what I've claimed today on the webinar will pay for itself many, many times over, as you can see, right? Just from all the different examples and case studies and all the clients that you've met. So one final time to recap what you're getting today, you're gonna to get a work ready virtual assistant for 1990, which is a value of 1997, $1,997. You're gonna get uh, the 90 day launch process done with you. Uh, which is $997 value. You're going to get access to Mod University for yourself and your staff. And you're going to get salesdialers.com three-line phone system free for 90 days. And you're going to get Agent Circle Prospecting free for 90 days. Okay? And all you have to do is get started now is just simply go to myoutdesk.com forward slash start and put in a $297 deposit. That comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee. And the process will begin. Okay?
And by the way, your virtual assistant, once you hire a virtual assistant, you'll get access to all the bonuses uh, once you hire the virtual assistant. So during the, during the 30 day period when we're going to find a virtual assistant for you, your sales dialer bonus and your agent circle prospecting bonus and the five strategies don't get activated. But once you hire the virtual assistant, um, then all those get activated in that. That's when the 90 day launch clock starts ticking and we're going to help you knock it out of the ballpark. Okay. So again, go to myalgas.com forward slash start to get the process started today. Now I got two slides left and I'm going to show you, give you the link to the free gift and then I'm able to do Q and a, you might be asking yourself at this point, kind of what's different. And if it hasn't been clear for you, what's different about today with the business in a box, here's kind of my bullet points and why I feel it's so different. One is that there's a real plan and vision here for how we're going to help you take your business to the next level. Okay. We've done this many, many times before we we're working with over 1200 agents now, and there's a real plan and vision. There's also lots of options so that you're not stuck. We're going to give you options between two to four virtual assistants to pick from, right? Um, we're then going to give you access to five different proven strategies. So there's a lot of different options for how you can make this work. So you're not, so you don't ever find yourself stuck. There's also a process for getting all, through all of this. Right. You might be thinking about, oh, my gosh, how much time is this going to take? And I don't really know how to train. I don't really know how to build a team and I really don't know how to onboard. That's OK. That's no problem because of the 90 day launch process and a dedicated client success coach. That's all solved for you. And then there's proof that this works predictably. There's actual proof. And again, if you're anything like me, right, you just want to see proof. You want to know they can work. And you've met Toral. You've met Lisa Archer. You've met uh, you've met Sandra, you've met the Bronx, you've met Tristan, right? You've seen, you, you've met them. You've seen what, what's working for Chris and for Lisa. There's proof that this works. I'm sure you can see how it can work if it was just being implemented for your business consistently. And in final closing, I want to say this, you know, earlier I shared with you how you probably have a vision for your business, right? You probably have a vision for the kind of income you want to make, the kind of lifestyle you want to enjoy, right? The kind of, the kind of clients you want to have, um, the kind of, you know, and just what you want to have, what you want to be able to make as impact or contribution on your community to get to any of that, whatever your vision is for your business, whatever your vision is for your success, you're going to have to crack the ceiling on building a team now or later, but that's just simply the rite of passage in this industry. I showed you the three predictable patterns earlier, right? It's pattern. Number one, mastering time and productivity pattern. Number two, building a team. And that's just how it works in this industry. And so again, I don't know what your specific goals and vision are. I'd love to learn what they are. And when you make your $297 deposit, we're going to become your partners in helping you grow your business. We, just like you, we're in a relationship driven business. Um, but I can just simply, I just want you to understand whether you do it now or whether you do it later, that's up to you, but you're going to do it now or later to achieve the actual vision that you have for yourself and for your lifestyle and for your income and for your business and for your family and your loved ones because these are simply the three patterns that every successful agent goes through as a rite of passage. Okay. And I'm sure you can see how that makes sense that no matter what you're doing, you or how busy you are or how unavailable you are, you've got to have somebody implementing revenue producing processes for you. And that's how you build a predictable business that gets you off the real estate roller coaster once and for all. Okay. But in my, from my perspective, now is the time to do it because of all the value that you get with the business in a box and all the advantages that you get with it. Okay. By the way, as a last bonus for the first 10 people who take action, you're going to get act. If you don't already have a CRM system, you'll get access to a real Valve CRM system for free for 90 days, which is a 200 would cost you $267 if you went to their website. So just as a, as a reward for the first action takers for the first 10 people, if you don't have a CRM platform already, you're going to get access to real Valve CRM platform free for 90 days. Okay. So again, you just go to myoutdesk.com forward slash start, make a $297 deposit and the entire process will start for you. And then once we find you a virtual assistant, we'll, we'll launch the 90 day process, the 90 day launch, and we'll do everything we can to help you take your business to the next level. Your free gift is at myoutdesk.com forward slash launch. Again, that's myoutdesk.com forward slash launch. And that's where you'll be able to download our best templates, tools, and checklists and resources for attracting, hiring, uh, on and onboarding uh, people for your team, team new team members for your real estate team. Okay, so again, myoutdesk.com forward slash start to make your deposit. And now, what I'd like to do is do live Q and A. So whatever questions you may have, please ask, and I'd like to be able to answer them for you. 
Uh, so if you guys have any questions, please type them into the chat box and I'll be able to answer them for you. And then also, if you're already taking action, then welcome, welcome, and welcome to the community. Welcome to, uh, to the My Outdesk family. And you'll be getting followed up with by somebody on our team within 24 hours to help you get started. Uh, Sandra asks, what's the, what's the cost after the first 90 days? So let me clarify that. So there's a $297 deposit that comes with a money back guarantee for the first 30 days. Uh, once you, we find you a vir match with a virtual assistant that works for your business, that works well for your business, they work for you full time, uh, 40 hours a week. And the flat subscription fee to you is $1,747 a month. So $1,747 a month. And that's your all in. There's no uh, hidden costs, there's no employment regulations or medical fees or taxes or anything like that. We handle the rest for you. And so uh, then it just stays a flat 1747 a month after that. Um, there's only a contract for the 90 days because we're giving you the entire 90 day launch process for free and we're giving you all the bonuses and tools for free for those 90 days. Um, after that, there's no contract, it's all month to month. So we actually don't tie anybody into long-term contracts, but we have found that a lot more of our clients become successful in the first 90 days if we work with them, as you can imagine, understand, right? If we're working with you to implement, uh, implement revenue producing systems, um, then you'll want to be able to, uh, we obviously want to be able to do that to increase the likelihood that you're going to be successful. So there's a contract for the first 90 days, but after that it's month to month. Uh, Jody asks, do you have a part-time option for VAs? Uh, Jody, no, we actually stopped doing that, and that's a great question. I'm happy you asked that. And the reason why we stopped doing that is because we looked at the data over the last three years of clients, new clients who started with a part-time virtual assistant versus a full-time, and the statistics show that there's a dramatic decrease in success with a part-time VA because you're not getting the full benefits of having them work for you for 40 hours a week. And so the two things that we did to solve for that is we took the part-time option off the table. And then we went out and we found five revenue producing strategies to give the VA access to when you hire them. So now, part of the time, you can have them take things off your plate that you shouldn't be doing because your time is more valuable. And then for the other half of the time, they can be implementing one of the revenue producing strategies for you. So now, as you can imagine, they would have plenty of to do for 40 hours a week, and most of it's going to be revenue producing activity for you. So I'm happy to ask that question, and that's the answer. Um, if there's not any other questions, guys, we'll wrap it up. I'm just, I'm just going to stay here long enough to answer any questions that anybody throws out there. Uh, I'm happy to answer them and stay here as long as you need me to. But if there's not any other questions, then I'll wrap this up. Again, go to myoutdesk.com forward slash start. Simply make a guarantee, 30-day get money back, full, full money back guarantee, a deposit of only $297, and then we'll take over from there and we'll start the process for you. Uh, Marietta asks, how long from the deposit to actually getting the VA? Marietta, we typically actually turn it around within two weeks, uh, but depending on just what skill set you're looking for uh, and what we discover will be best for your business, it can take sometimes three to four weeks, which is why we give it a 30-day window and why we actually also make it a money-back you know, guarantee for you if you choose to drop out in that process, uh, if we can't find somebody for you in two to four weeks. Uh, or within 30 days. But typically we find somebody within about two weeks and we have you interviewing two to four pre-qualified, pre-vetted candidates on video within about two to three weeks. Uh, but it's a 30 day guarantee. Great question. Thank you for asking that, Marietta. Uh, any other questions from anybody? I'm, I'm game. Keep throwing them at me. I'll keep, keep throwing, pitching the balls at me and I will keep batting them out, out of the ballpark. Let, let's rock and roll. Um, again, welcome, welcome, welcome to anybody who's joining right now and taking advantage of the the, the bonuses. I'm super excited for that. Again, we'll be talking with you the next 24 hours, getting to know your business in depth, and then figuring out who's going to be the right team player for you, and then finding them for you and getting them set up with you. Uh, Marietta asks, are we going to get a recording of today's session, please? Uh, I am recording it now, and as long as they're recorded fine, I think we should be able to send that out. Yeah, so I think that we should be able to send that out. But again, you know how it is with technology. I can't 100% say it'll happen for sure. I'll say 97% for sure, okay? Give myself a 3% out. Uh, Marietta says, thanks, that's awesome. You're very welcome. All right, guys, well, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up then. It's been almost an hour and a half. Again, welcome to everybody who's taking action already. If you haven't yet and you're on the fence, look, it's risk-free to you, right? It's risk-free to start. At least get the process started. 
It's risk-free. It's a money-back guarantee for the first 30 days, uh, and then you can take it from there. But there's no risk to you. And why not take advantage of a brand new opportunity uh, that completely redefines what it means to hire somebody? Because you get a full-time person to work with you who can implement revenue-producing processes for you, and you can become another one of our success stories, just like Toral, just like Lisa, just like Sandra, just like the Bronx, just like Tristan, and so many of our other clients. I'd love to be able to help you take your business to the next level this year and beyond. Okay. So with that, guys, thanks for attending this training. Go to myoutdesk.com forward slash start to join the My Outdesk family and the community and take your business to the next level. And with that, have a wonderful day. Take care. Bye-bye.